All right, so all of these locks, this bypass thing will work on, and the Brinks is a two-step method. It would be a two-step method on this one, but the shackle's been cut, so it'll work as a one-step method. So all these little tiny value line master locks, Brinks, guard, they're similar, same thing. Brinks, this one, it says high security, like, Rate 8 rating out of a 9 scale or some shit like that. This is a Chinese lock. And it's the cheapest of all of them because it only has one. Well, I guess it's equal to these. Even though this is weighs more. It's as easy to open as that. Um, so, the bypass on the biggest one is pretty easy. Bam. The bypass on the Brinks. This took... It doesn't take a whole lot of time to single pin pick, but it does take some time. You have to set one side on the bypass and then go in to the other and boom. Alright, that took a little bit of time. That was just to demonstrate. This one here, this one is locked down here, but it's got a little... It's gone. And then these guys are super easy. You don't even need a key. For those, probably a paper clip would work. But so there. What amazed me was this one. I discovered this by goofing around just because of... This one would work one way. That's what confused me. I kept hitting that bypass on the other one over here. And it wouldn't work. And I finally discovered the two-step method. And this one I just discovered its method just from screwing around with the lock. And I'm surprised this thing hasn't broke because I pried the shit out of it on a lot of stuff. And Anywho, there you go. A little picking, picking, picking.